Oh, yep. E. <laughs> get into thanks for watching okay you've already seen some of the trials and the tribulations of uh, <laughs> the beautification of the Bronco engine and yeah we had a couple setbacks but we are down to the final bits and we've got this air cleaner cover that we painted the old Ford blue and we painted it I mean you're on a tripod so I'm gonna bring it up to you but it's got a Hear that? We painted it on a hot day and the wind came up and it just dried too quickly. Um, at least that's my diagnosis. If I'm wrong, paint and body guys, you know, tell me so. But I'm gonna show you a way to bring this around using an unconventional uh, tool. So let's move that for a second. Here we have, these are the leave-ins of a headlight restoration kit, right? So in most of these kits, you'll get, oh, usually around a 500 grit sandpaper, that's what that one is, and then you'll get an 800, and then you get this stuff, I think it's supposed to be a thousand or two thousand grit and you do your headlight restoration you get the little deal that goes into the drill and then you get one of these i'm going to clue you in if you haven't already clued yourself in here's our buffing pad for our big seven inch polisher that we use to restore paint and buff paint here is the pad that comes with your headlight lens restore kits it's the same stuff basically so we're gonna chuck this up in our drill and I don't think we're gonna go to the uh, 2000 grit we're gonna see first what we can get done with a foam pad a little bit of water and we'll go with do, 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 do. not that one we're going all the way with the cutting. Extra heavy cut here. That might help us avoid having to do any actual wet sanding, but we'll see. If we gotta go back and sand a little bit, we can. A little bit of dampness. Be kind of hard to do this one handed, but we'll see. You see, with a little pad, you can get in between these ridges here pretty good. be all right huh she's flattening right out at least up here it is I'm not looking for a, quite a mirror finish but we're just looking to take the yeah okay we're gonna continue I'm pretty happy so far all right we had to take a hiatus from this it's been like almost a week and I don't I don't know why I can't seem to get this accomplished but we're back on it here i want to get this paint shined up on this air cleaner assembly this top cover anyway um, so we can put it on the bronco and have that engine complete um, one thing we found at the irish parts store 
was this cool 3000 grit sandpaper, but it's a sponge. So I bought one of them and it allows me to get into the grooves and it's wet and dry so it won't you won't clog it up so that's what we're doing now is just kind of smoothing out some of that so we're going to take down the high marks and then we'll get our little headlight lens buffing wheel back out Nice matte, smooth finish. See the parts where I've already sanded? Listen to that. And then we'll come down here. Yeah, big difference. It's going to be nice. Mind you, this does not have to be perfect. It has to be better than it was. That's where we're at. There we go. Yes. I think this can polish up really nice, guys. Now we've knocked down that, those rougher areas. I don't want to take too much more of this paint off. So we're going to get our little drill buffer wheel out. Oh, we moved a little bit. Let me fix this here. Okay, we're going with number six dual action cleaner polish. I really I like this better than the 12 to be honest with you It just seems to be really nice for that initial kind of cut and breaking down sanding marks and stuff This is going to be messy. Here. I don't need it quite that way. I just got my sponge. Hang on. Why is it that it won't? Okay, we had to move over to the vise. The lighting's not as good over here, but at least it'll hold my part still. is actually going to be a little overkill but I don't like it customers going to love this Six to four on the on the bottom. Keep keeping on here. Oh, and the battery's dead.
then go down to one we'll give it a little polish and then we'll put a little hand wax on it we're about done Yeah. Oh, wow. Look, I'm sorry. We got a big thing of blue paint on your lens. Oh my gosh. And just like that, we've got our air cleaner assembly installed back on the 302. We had it running a little bit, still runs just wonderfully. We did get a new uh, heat riser tube found that at the Napa Valley and the neighboring community. Uh, we have yet to uh, in clean and reinstall the fresh air intake over here. And then you can buy that flexible rectangular ducting. Um, we're gonna order that tonight. But that is pretty much finishing up our engine beautification. You know, and by the way, you may be thinking or asking yourself or me, uh, why why are you getting paid you know shop rate to clean and polish on an air cleaner lid well number one it it's the first thing you see when you open the hood but really guys and gals even though you, you sat through some time lapse I have half an hour 40 minutes in this tops that's from that's including all the wet sanding and three stages of buffing and, and a quick wax. It's not bad and I'm trying to show you the trick. Take your headlight refinisher pad and you can buff away on these little parts and do it in an efficient way, saving time and money for you and your potential customer. Appreciate you hanging out, joining us today. Harvest is in full swing around here in Nebraska. There's just been trucks and tractors and combines and and you name it it's been down this road all day uh so busy people here in the heartland thanks again we'll catch you on the next one <laughs>